Okay, I'm at lava beds. I'm at either Tickner Cave or uh, um, Bertha's Cupboard Cave, one of those two. I was confused the two. I'm at the upper one. Anyway, so let's see if I can find a way through these bushes. I like this cave because it's uh, somewhat easy. There's lots of skylights, so there's tons of natural light. It's almost like garden bridges here. Notice, oh, hold on, I got my. Got to adjust my gimbal again. Hang on. There we go. Okay, so there, notice there's a ledge over here. Ledge over there. Oh, what the heck? Just a second, my gimbal is me. There we go. There. Yeah, my gimbal is stupid. If it tilted too far, it gets stuck and gives an error. All right, well, anyway. Notice it's not, lots of natural light coming through here, so. Yeah, so, you notice there's a nice flat ledge over here. Other than the ledge, doesn't seem particularly interesting. Looks like there's a way back there, but I'm pretty sure it's just behind the rocks. I don't think there's another tube. Pretty sure this is a straight tube, but it's got multiple layers. That's how this happened. Let's see if I can find my way through here. Notice there's more natural light ahead. So here, there's that ledge. So there's ground level. Wow. So that's the way it came through. Here's that other ledge. Again, it's not really, doesn't go back very far. It's just wider part of the same cave. Higher level. Fascinating. Notice there's a ledge up here continuing. I'm gonna take the low road. Wow, this place is so pretty. I mean, look at all the uh, different colored stuff growing here. But I'm gonna go down up a little bit. Notice there's a big skylight ahead. Smaller skylight right there. So if you're looking for this cave, Watch your feet. <laughs> Look under here. It's like a tiny little upper level. Really, really rough back there. Don't touch it, please. It's fragile. It's beautiful the way it is. So if I pan up, there's that eensy weensy skylight right there. So the ceiling here, the thickness between the ceiling and ground level, it's called the overburden. It's probably only like four feet. Well, I'll show you, I'll turn around. Okay, that's the way I came. That's a natural bridge. Look at that, that's probably less than four feet, maybe two or three feet, but it's arch shaped. So it's pretty sturdy. Obviously, I would walk across it. This is pretty flat here. It's even flatter here, holy cow. What's weird, there's like a flat spot there, and then it's lower here. Like the cave partially collapsed lower. Yeah. There's enough light in here. Natural light, I don't really need my flashlight.
There's another cupboard or balcony up here. Kind of nice. Huh. The camera battery's getting low. Oh yeah, you know what? I'm gonna be lazy. I think there's a lower level here. No, I must be thinking somewhere else. But yeah, look at the rough rock. Look at all the different stuff growing on it. Different colors. Back where people haven't trampled. That's why they ask you to stay on the trail if there is one so that people keep all their wear and tear to a local area. Let the rest of it grow in peace. For a cave like this, though, pretty much the whole floor has been trampled. But at least try not to touch the walls. Okay. So I'm not going to go much farther. I don't know if you can tell. Oops. I'm going to go out here. That way is pretty much blocked by rock. There's, there used to be an exit here. I mean, with the rock. The rock has fallen down and blocked it. So, yeah, obviously the tube would keep going that way, but if it's blocked, you can't really go any farther now, can you? So I'm going to go ahead. Looks like it'll be easier to go to the left a little bit. So I'll try to get a little higher, but I'm not going to try to get out this way. Yeah, see that's blocked by dirt. That's blocked by boulders. I, if I cared, I could get across over there, but I'm not going to bother. So yeah, I'm just going to hit, turn around, head back. Notice how there's a nice balcony here, but it's very uneven. It's almost a trail down the middle here, so I'm going to go that way. Head back down here. Much safer. Easier. Faster. Better. Notice up here, you can see how the lining of the wall is peeled away somewhat. Oops. So there's the first skylight. Then there's a tiny skylight over there you can't see. And then the natural bridge. All sorts of good stuff. Let me take a look around here. So here's the wall. There's sort of a balcony, not a really good one, like a balcony or cave, but whatever. It's a start. There's that one, there's the dead end ish. And the first skylight. It's weird. I'm not sure what those are. It's like some kind of weird big cobwebs hanging down. Maybe they're spider webs. I don't know. Interesting. So if I go over here just a bit, I can pan up. You can see what that skylight really looks like. Not quite big enough for a person. Big enough you could hurt your ankle really bad.
Wow, look at this. The balcony here. Oops. What was that? My flashlight malfunction. Anyway, look at that. The rock's only like two inches thick. So please don't touch it. You probably could break it if you tried. That'd be a very dumb idea. Don't be that guy. Or that gal. Or that it. Alright, here we go. So I already pointed out this balcony over here on the way in. Notice how it's wide and flat, but the ceiling's low. It's pretty much the same thing over on that side. Then there's the overburden, maybe two feet thick. It's enough. Okay. So. <sighs> yeah, the battery on this camera is almost dead. So when I get up here, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video, switch camera batteries, and figure out why my flashlight's misbehaving. There's some more cave over there, obviously. I think that's technically the same cave, but one thing at a time here. <sighs> All right, I'll pause the video there.